Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. It is about 20 degrees or 20 something outside right now. It's a little chilly, but we're working so we're getting warm. Um, I got Madison with me. She's my 13 year old daughter. And today our project is to build another fire pit. Now the ground is frozen, so we're gonna have to think about possibly doing this in stages because we do want to build a fire here today, but we're going to um, just uh, put, I have a steel plate that we're gonna put down and kind of get the area around where the fire pit is. Possibly find some rocks that we can bring over. Uh, the last time I checked, uh, the rocks in the area, they're all frozen to the ground. I can't get them out of the ground. So um, we're gonna see what we can do to get this fire pit. And again, if you uh, have seen my other videos, I am in my new camp area. It's like a bushcraft camp. So we're just starting this area. And, uh, and now we're going to be working on the fireplace, or fire pit, which is uh, right there. Um, those of you that are not used to my channel and don't know what it's about, I have uh, two acres in Colorado. And what I do is I, I'm building this shelter over here right now, kind of a bushcraft type shelter. We're still the beginning stages of that. Um, in the summertime, I have a huge, large canvas tent that we stay in during the summer months. So check out those videos from 2017. Uh, that shows our first year in, in doing our uh, canvas tent. So if you are used to the channel, you'll notice that I am in a new jacket. I don't know, I mean, I always wear the same jacket and this one's totally different. And I actually feel like I'm a little bit like the, what is the kid on the um, Christmas story, I think it is, where he's like all stuffed. Um, this is, uh, my mom gave me this jacket and uh, this is my grandma's jacket, her great grandma. And she wore it in Antarctica. So I thought, wouldn't that be cool to try it out and see what it's like? And I can tell you, this jacket is extremely warm. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this jacket on, but she wore it in Antarctica. My family has been a, a family of uh, people that travel. My mom has traveled all over the world. Um, she's been on every continent, but two, I think it is. So um, I thought it would be kind of a fun, fun opportunity to check out this jacket since it was sitting in my, in my basement for a couple years and I never wore it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clear this whole area out and kind of figure out what the best uh, position for the fire. I kind of want a little bit more centrally located. Currently right now we have it a little bit more to this side. So we're gonna bring it and maybe a little bit closer in and uh, kind of dig out some of this, just some of the snow, it's pretty solid. So uh, we'll dig out some of it, just get the area of where we want the fire pit to be. Telling your aging teenagers, she has to have a little <laughs> chair to sit on. <laughs> okay, are we ready? <laughs> okay, so you guys noticed that I brought in this steel plate. Um, it has these little um, edges to it and stuff too. If you checked out my other um, video, I did already do a fire pit. It's on the other side of the property. Um, and I did also do this same steel pit and the reason for it is Colorado has a really high risk of forest fires. In fact, the majority of the summertime, I won't be able to make fires because we're the mo most of the time we're in a fire ban. And just to give you kind of an idea, I did check the website today to see if we were in a fire ban today. And uh, even though there's a lot of snow that you see around here, the risk of a fire is still um, marked as high. Um, so I am over cautious when I start building these. 
Um, so in case you're wondering why I have this steel plate, it's because this is for the future. This is not for just today. This is for like going on in the future for the summertime. If there isn't a fire ban, at least I have this already set up um, in this area. Now, again, I just, I did try to um, cut into the ground with, with Madison here. Um, the ground is really frozen, so there's really nothing I can do about that. Um, so I might uh, just kind of alter it a little bit once it starts warming up, but I would like to get a fire started here um, in the winter time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some dirt. We're gonna put some dirt on top of this if we can find some dirt somewhere that's loose enough. Um, we're gonna put some dirt on top of this and then um, have the kids and baby start a fire in one of their series. Um, the kids are doing a whole series of called the Spirit Force Cubs, um, and they're going to be showing other kids um, how to, you know, make fires and the safety of fires. Also, how to do shelters. Uh, Madison might do a video on, on backpacking, but um, but anyways, let's let's start with this fire. Let's get this um, get the dirt on there and, and get it all ready. Again, I'm going to try to look for some rocks as well too. Okay, so now we have uh, dug out the majority of the snow here, and I'm telling you, this thing is rock hard. Um, I can't get I can't get any dirt or anything out of that. It's um, it's really hard. And then I also have this pan, that steel pan that you saw before. Um, I was able to get some dirt. Now it's uh, it's topsoil. So it's not the best. What I'd really recommend put in here is more like rocks or like road base. Um, I just don't have that available to me right now. So I'm just gonna use this for now and then when it gets to a little bit warmer where I can get down to some actual rocks and, and some, to the, some of the like road base type of material, then I'm gonna take this out and replace it with that. So for right now, this will work for the fire today. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna stick it right onto this spot and then Masson was able to find some rocks. She went for a little bit of a hike, but found some. Was it loose? Uh, yeah, at the top, because there's no snow, but... Yeah. Okay, so she's gonna put the rocks kind of around. We don't have that many rocks, but that's okay for now. I feel pretty safe with all this snow around here anyways. Um, so uh, she's gonna put some rocks around and, and hopefully we'll get a fire started here soon.
are so excited to have our first fire here at uh, the Spirit Forest, the new bushcraft camp. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. We're really, again, excited. We got some more stuff we want to do here. We do want to put a reflector wall up here as well. So we got a lot more projects coming your way. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.